I have transoms over my exterior window, so I want to put a transom over my exterior door walls as well. So let's go to look at this in 3D. And I have a transom right here. So let's create similar. And we'll just come over to this wall here and pop it in. There we go. Okay, now let's go back to that section and take a look at what I just did. And you can see that I have the transom. It's not the correct width yet. And I also don't know, I can't tell if it's uh, properly located in the floor plan or not. If I, and I can't see it here because I'm cutting through this floor plan at four foot six. So I know uh, my transoms are above seven feet. So I'm gonna type VR, which is my view range. And I'm gonna look at the top of that to be eight feet. And I'm gonna cut through seven foot six. So my cut plane will be seven foot six and watch what happens. Now I can see my transoms. And when I look at my, because what's happening in this case, if we go to the section, my uh, plan was being cut right here. And I wanted to, so it was cutting through the door walls and I wanted to cut the plan right through the uh, transom. So I could see if it was in the proper uh, orientation or not. And I can see that it's not. So I'll click on it and use this little guy this time. And that looks better to me. So now my brick mold is in the correct location. It's on the outside of the house. I'll go back to my section. I have an eight foot door wall. So let's make this guy eight feet wide and see if I have one. And I do. So I'll make him eight feet wide and then center him on that. And then I'll bring him, I have the top here. So I'll, so let's see what happens if I line these guys up. Yeah, that looks fine. You can see that there's a little bit of an overlap, but I'm going to put casing around this. So this may be the correct location for that. And so I've got uh, one transom in there. I'll go back to the first floor plan. I'm looking at the, uh, I'm cutting through the transom now, remember, so I can mirror that. Uh, let's see if I can mirror that about the midpoint. No, I'll, mirror, I'll grab the midpoint. Watch, remember from our AutoCAD days, that triangle represents the midpoint of the wall. And I'm just putting in an imaginary mirror line and now it puts another transom over on that side. I'm going to say create similar, and I'm going to put that guy over here. I can see that, no, I can't see. Something's wrong, so I'll grab my section and come up and see what happened here. What, what did I just do? Ah, oh, it's way too long. That's all. So I'm going to just drag him up to begin with. This is a six foot door wall, so let's see if we have a six foot wide, and we do. So I'll grab that guy. Then I will align him with the midpoint of this door wall. And then let's bring this guy down to here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I can just, now this time I'm going to copy it. I'll use the copy command and just use the, and you know, this line and this line right here. All right, let's go back and look in 3D what I just did. Click on an object so that my model rotates around that object. And now you can see real quickly that I've got my transoms in on top of my uh, door walls now uh, in, the, in the breakfast nook. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to save that and stop the video now.